y'all sunscreen companies are getting creative with their ads trying to get people to wear sunscreen and I can appreciate the effort. Hi, I'm Sean, Melanoma Mom here. Join me on my mission to prevent skin cancer by subscribing to this channel and wearing sunscreen. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> there is a new sunscreen company. I'm gonna, I've got it right here, but I'm gonna pop it up on the screen right here so you can see the ad that I'm talking about. Barely there. Ultra thin maximum protection. This is not a condom ad. <laughs> Okay, and then over here, I, I can't, <laughs> I can't with this ad. And it's like a man, is that a man's hands? Yes, there's a lot of hair on the arms. Sticking what looks like a condom wrapper, but is actually a, sun, a sunscreen into their wallet. Now, will this get men to wear sunscreen more? <laughs> or are they just gonna mistake their sunscreen package for their condom? So I was reading this article about this provocative new sunscreen company called Pavez, Pavez, someone help me here. They're launching a new digital campaign to promote, wait for it, wait for it, it's Pleasure Pack. <laughs> okay, $26 pack composed of five trial sachets of its Hero SPF product, each designed to resemble an individually wrapped condom. <laughs> Talks about sun care is a responsible use of protection. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Facebook and Instagram ads are running campaigns where it shows sachets and wallets, which I just showed you. Sachets in the back pockets of denim and also near lingerie. Now, hold, hold on a second. Make sure, um, do you have your sunscreen and your condoms? Because that's what's the most important protection. <laughs> Can't. Taglines for this company. Experience the longest lasting protection ever. Barely there, ultra thin, maximum protection. <laughs> I can't. Okay, so this Pavez was developed by a chemical engineer student at MIT named Sophie. Sophie Bai, they have an SPF 30 cream that sells for $148. <laughs> and they sell primarily direct to consumer and through some dermatologist. And they were getting feedback that their customers wanted convenient smaller sizes for travel. So that's how they came up with the pleasure pack. They also were getting feedback that their price point is insanely expensive, hence they wanted smaller travel size, uh, $26 <laughs> economical pricing. I gotta read you this quote. This is in a glossy article, okay? And it says that Sophie Bai says, remember she's the creator of the sunscreen company. Sunscreen has always been a very boring category. People see it as situational, optional, or occasional. They don't view it as a desirable skincare product that they want to use daily, but we want to change that. This is the most important thing you can do for your skin. Yes, Sophie, yes girl we're, we're we're on the same page <laughs> what makes this sunscreen so expensive is its proprietary patent pending diamond cord shill core shield molecular technology what is that what is that <laughs> says that it was designed to have qualities that are often missing from conventional sunscreen and prevent people from becoming regular users so does that mean it's not sticky does that mean it's not thick does that mean it doesn't have a white cast? It says, these traits just happen to align with words that are often used when marketing condoms. I have never said condoms so much in my entire life as I have in this video. Ultra thin, yep. Prolonged performance. <laughs> Barely there and invisible. Um, I feel like those also are the same words that are used on like on feminine hygiene products, right? Pads and tampons and feminine hygiene products. I know mine say ultra thin, barely there and invisible. <laughs> also has attributes that appeal to men who make up 40% of the brand's customer base. Okay, interesting. New York Times Square in Soho, Tribeca, Williamsburg and the Upper East Side, they had billboards that ran practice safe sun. <laughs> and it's 
catchy. I like that they're trying to be more creative with sunscreen to get people to buy it, especially men. I feel like us women, we're slowly starting to get it and we're all jumping on the sunscreen train, but men are still like, no, I don't need it. <laughs> At least the men that I see in my life are like, eh. <laughs> so anything, you know, if this works and it says 40% of their customer, customer base is men, I would like to see where this company goes if it actually does appeal to men. I'm trying to think. There was another sunscreen assault that was marketed directly to men, but it was the only thing that was different about it was like the title was a manly, manly title. Um, Jack Black markets to men their sunscreen. My husband has tried that one and I've tried it and it is sticky. It, when it runs into your face, it does, into your eyes, it does burn, which is why I didn't like it. And it feels greasy on the skin. Now, I love the Jack Black lip balms. <laughs> Those are a holy grail for me. Sun balm, you know, instead of the bright yellow packaging, they put it in like a dark black brown <laughs> packaging to market, market to men. It's interesting, isn't it? How we think colors and names of things appeal to men more than others, which is kind of like, the sunscreens that are marketed to babies, anybody can use those. Anybody can use the men's sunscreen as well, uh, as long as they don't mark it up higher. Because I feel like with with women's women's products are always marked up higher than men's products. Like the razors, you know, <laughs> you can buy the same razor, one's pink and one's black, and the pink one will be a couple of dollars more. Uh, deodorants the same way. I just feel like sunscreen is now moving in that direction where they're trying to get men on board by changing what the products look like and how they market, which is good, just like they want kids to wear sunscreen. So I did a video a couple months back about the new trend of making sunscreen fun with glitter and colors, things that would appeal toward to kids. And so, you know, I just never thought we would see safe sun protection. <laughs> I just never thought we'd see condoms associated with sunscreen. <laughs> so uh, I hope you enjoyed learning about this new sunscreen company. I don't know if I'll be ordering from it or not. Let me know down below. <laughs> Here you go, husband dear. Uh, no, that's not a condom. That's, that's your sunscreen for the day. <laughs> Today is a great day to wear sunscreen. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.